We are in the days where a lot of young lady wants to get married and the only way they look for their husband is through social media. In those days, when they want to get married, they have to consult and know the background of the family of the girl, the background of the family of the man, then there is a kind of relationship between both parents before marriage is established. But we are in a days where people can marry on Facebook. There are a lot of Facebook relationships that have become a bad book relationship. Can I teach a little bit here? How can you meet a man on Facebook today, fall in love with a man today, decide to accept him today, and you people are chatting today? You are just 26, 22, and you see a man with a picture of 29, but you don't know that you are talking to your grandfather. Because Facebook can be very deceptive. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? A cripple can decide to chat you on Facebook and use any picture. An imbecile can decide to chat you on Facebook and use any picture. Some of you are building your life on lie, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. How can you fall in love with somebody picture? You have been telling him, guy, can we see? Can we meet? He has been avoiding you because if you meet with him, you are going to run because you are about to meet a gorilla. Am I helping you? I'm talking to young ladies and young brothers here. 90% why a lot of you are heartbroken is that you are trying to build relationship on social media. Somebody is telling you I love you and you say you love. What do you know about love? How can somebody just see your picture today and inbox you, I love you, and you to say I love you? Hey! Something is wrong. A man say he wants to marry you. He's busy sending you empty cash. You know the end of that marriage. He cannot call you, but he's sending you, call me back. He cannot call you. He wants to marry you. Even what he's about to tell you, you are the one using your phone to call him to hear. Error. Error. Many of you are chatting with Jumbu, and the Jumbu is an imbecile. You don't know. How many of you are chatting with a native doctor, and you never know you are chatting with an abalis? He's in a shrine chatting with you. <laughs> Can I help somebody here? Do I have the sisters in the house? May your marriage not crash in life. May you not fall by the roadside. Uh, am I talking here? Jesus, one of the best occasions Jesus attended was a wedding celebration. You remember the marriage in Cana of Galilee? One of the first miracles he performed. That shows that Jesus wants every family to live with joy and happiness. Your marriage is God's will. Can I prophesy to you? You will not suffer. I say you will not suffer. You will not cry. What has made you cry before? Today I prophesy you will not cry again. for the married women here. Every man that you are married that is stingy to you after this service, 
he will deep and and open his secret to you brothers are not saying amen to this prayer now because they are saying that my prophet is trying to use anointing to collect my money from my wife no i'm saying your wife there are brothers that will tie their money tie everything everything nothing is working i prophesy as you get back home today your husband will change i thought i'm hearing that amen where shout that amen like thunder shout the amen like thunder the only way can i say this to sisters proverbs said Proverb, the book of Proverbs says, He that findeth a wife. Brothers, you are looking for a woman and not a wife. That's why you are not married. Sister, you are still a woman. That's why you are not married. You are not a wife. Check the scripture. He that findeth a wife. You must first be a wife before you are married. You must first be a wife material before somebody will marry you. The way you are doing now, don't you see you are not a wife? You are a girl. And what does girls do? They are four men. And they do tinini tanana biko biko. They maradona them. They become mighty the tax collector. You are not a wife. You are still a girl. The first time he took you out on a dating, look at what you did to him. The man is collecting just 54,000 naira. Vero, only you want eat 52,000 naira at one blow. <laughs> Am I teaching here? Imagine a took you out and you ate 52,000 of his salary the next time when you call him he will do back to sender I'm still talking about wedding I prophesy in this period where we are in recession no we are not in recession we are in depression in this period where we are in depression Imagine you dupe a man as a lady. Even your pastor will not solve the problem. I prophesy. May you be a wife material. 